got a package. <gasps> Let's go see what it is. How you doing? This is Fee, Dime in the Rough. How's your day going today? I have a box under here that just arrived. It is my first time of purchasing, so let's have a look. So this is a subscription box. This is from the UK. I'll pop prices in so that you can check out prices um, for how much it cost. And as I go through all time, remember to put down here the um, details of what it each individual item would cost. This is their March to May box. So this was um, last quarter, because this is a quarterly box. Um, I ordered this one specifically. The next quarterly box is actually on its way, already shipped, but we're gonna go through and get, to get uh, through this. And I get tongue-tied a heap of times. If you've only just discovered my channel, hello, welcome. Good to see you here. While you're here, hopefully you find something rather interesting, look around, but remember, hit the subscribe button, bell to be notified, give me a comment, like, let me know what you think of this box. So this is my first time purchasing, I am not an artist, so this is going to be an artist trying all sorts of stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get into this quarterly box, so it's quite pretty, and apparently, Going by um, what I've seen on YouTube land, mm, I can draw this, apparently. <laughs> Let's see. Let's have a look at the box. Eh? Get the camera in the right spot. There we go. Unleash your creativity. Get it in the right spot for you. Unleash your creativity, quarterly art surprise and inspiration, Artful Co., UK brought to you by Oh Dear. Unleash your creativity and let's see if I can do this without <coughs> breaking anything. Oh. Ah, got it. In the bin. Let's get creative. How cool. Okay, let's go. Hey, we'd love to see what you can do with your box. Use the hashtag artful and tag at artfulbox. We also host a daily drawing challenge on our Instagram and repost tag work throughout the day on stories. So if you actually do get this box, you can play along. I won't have the time to do the dailies, you know, because <clears throat> I work too many hours. But orange tissue paper, and I am excited about how these guys do things. But tissue paper that will get reused at another stage in here we have a document pouch all sorts of goodies in there i'm just deciding do i pull these out and just yeah let's just go over through the box so we have a document pouch with a bit of stuff in go through that in a sec we have four cards Nice thick cardstock and envelopes. We have... Okay, so this is Tombow. Basically, a lot of stuff in here is Tombow, though, so the sound, sound of it. Tombow was founded in Japan 1930 as a pencil manufacturer and since become popular for design office and craft materials. I... This will be my first Tombow. Woohoo! Okay, so, you, I, you know, people do um, do tend to have tombos out there so there is a code enjoy 20% off all tombow products at checkout okay then we have uh, 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 ooh, tombow from japan to the whole world bristol paper 250 grams a square meter 120 pounds um, okay, so that is how many sheets? How many sheets? 25 sheets. Smooth paper, bright white, high opacity and acid free. Ideally suited for colour gradients and layering. Suitable for water based brush pens, alcohol based markers, fine liners, pencils and ink. 
Oh, 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 oh. Okay, and then in the bottom of the box is this book. So we're going to pop that box aside because this book is huge, okay? And what I mean huge is it has so much information. There is also tutorials on how to do things. But this box was, let's learn about calligraphy and other stuff. What is artful? Inside every box you'll find a selection of premium tools hand-picked to work perfectly together. Each edition will work closely with artists to bring you the tools they use when they create their own work. Wait, there's more. So this gives you so much information. So it gives you the price of all of these. Now these are in pounds. So this was, I think it was about 36 pounds to purchase plus uh, postage. Um, I'll see if I can convert down below but when you look at it this is 36 pounds there's one thing in there that's 29 pounds there's another thing that's 8 pounds 12 pounds so there's a, a few th what's in here is higher than what you pay which is what you do with a subscription box however what you also have in here is rainbow calligraphy let's see if I can get this up for you there is rainbow calligraphy tutorial how the box was made so this actually tells you how to draw it and this one looking foxy tutorial hang in to do that so there's all your different lettering okay where's the fox I saw the fox I am. the fox is at the back what did the fox say oh there we go there we go and instructions on how to draw that fox how cool all oh, right yeah. so I'm just going to open this up and to the page that has what is in here so we can go through so we have already covered off the Bristol paper so that was 12 pound 30 that was just a card these cards artful blank Greeting cards and envelopes, four pound. Sounds so funny thing. I sound so so English thing. Pound. Okay, let's have a look in the document at folder. That's a nice way to keep things contained, isn't it? Do I pour it out? <gasps> let's see what I can drop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what goodies have we got here? Let's round these up and sort them into their what they look like they belong to these are all up the right way one two three four five six seven eight eight abt dual brush pens okay i'm gonna pull this little guy out we're just gonna have a quick look at that oh look at that blue I'll swatch these for you in a little bit and then <laughs> there we go okay so what colors are they saying are they actually saying what their color names are they're not saying a color name but there is numbers four seven six nine three 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 seven three six twenty okay so that is the eight markers dual brush pens I should say dual brush brush pens get it right then we have five Tombow twin tone dual tip markers so these is eight pound seventy five or one pound seventy five each okay so we have a look at where's the camera there we go one end let's have a look at the other end oh look at how fine that is that is really fine cool so we have five of those twin tone okay we have a Tombow mono eraser <laughs> I 
That's a little razor. That's cute. Okay. <laughs> um, £1.40. We have a Tombow Mono 100 Graphite Lead Pencil HB. Hold it up the right way for you. HB. Uh, £2.40 so that is what's in the in the kit um, I will be back shortly we will get to and I will swatch um, onto here and uh, we'll have some fun let's see what these colors look like here we go let's do some swatching and these are the Tombow water based and uh, just join me while I play around these with in reality um, whoops okay I have a tendency to touch things that's just smudged okay so there's a lesson for me I have just smudged that uh, let's go through and try the twin tones next Okay, now on to highest quality Tombow Homograph HB. Oh, Kiduki, so, and I am not much of a drawer as we are about to find out, but that feels so smooth. and soft okay and that's actually quite nice quite a nice eraser like that it's funny <laughs> because of my job that's a really nice eraser <laughs> okay so here we go I have tested these out these are really pretty I will say um, you if you how do I put the how do I put it um, going over that's it going over um, I will the one thing I did is uh, I went over top and it was not it, it lifted the paper a bit but it's okay now you can feel it um, but it just felt a bit weird uh, message is do not rub your paper once you put your ink down let it dry but stay tuned because one of the things <laughs> when I get my computer back <laughs> one of the things that I will be doing is I am going to do the fox we are going to see 
how I go with doing that. Um, these steps of the fox, here we go. So if we go here, Looking Foxy by a tutorial by Becky Starsmore. Um, biggest hurdle, sketch out your design in pencil. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> My sketching. Now, what else have we got in here? Ooh, just a quick look at what else is here. I'm just going to see if I can zoom you out now. Just a little bit. So, if we have a quick look in here, brief history of topography, uh, quicksand, regular, there's a font, there's all sorts of information. Um, as you can see, Helve Helvetica, um, the old pub, ye old, different uh, there. Now, what there is in here, we have Rainbow Calligraphy Tutorial. I will be doing that one. How the box was made, 12 to 15. Looking foxy, which is one I've already showed. But I want to go to 12 to 15. Because if we go back to the box, which is just out here, you can see the images that are on here are actually there. So this here is here. So it actually does take you through the process of drawing these. Kind of. I think I saw on YouTube somebody draw the uh, clownfish in the anemone. So I'm quite sure I will probably be able to find something. Uh, but it does tell you. So if I'm going to draw it with something more complicated like this. First use your pencil to sketch the shape. When you're happy with it, use the eraser to make it a lot fainter. Switch to your 761ABT marker and draw the anemone with the brush nib. Use the 933ABT marker to draw the body of the clownfish. Brush nib. You can see around the mouth versus the body in some areas. This is layered up to create depth. Use the 620 marker to add shade to the white area of the clownfish. When you're happy with your underlayer, use a thin nib on your black ABT marker to add to your clownfish. Then the thin nib to the fuchsia twin of the fuchsia twin tone. So they're actually giving you the um, colours to use at each point, which is really cool. What other stuff have we got? There's another dreamy pastel, so you can actually draw some. Of <laughs> Come on, open up. <laughs> take you through some of it tulips three ways I would work hard to interpret how to do that but I think I might be able to then we have the brush pen calligraphy so this was uh, Juliana Johnson and this is her tutorial and about her and all of that. And it takes you through, by the look of it, these steps. Black and white calligraphy, twin tone calligraphy. And yes, the instructions are there. What she usually does when she's happy, then she uses super fine. You know, so each step is there, four, step four, step five, step six. Um. <laughs> oh, I've seen these. I want one, but dream box. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we go. A little bit of modern calligraphy, lettering guidelines, and embellishing. So there we go. Stay tuned, gems. Please comment, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Um, keep an eye out for this. Now, um, I am close to going away, <laughs> but I will try and get a heap of videos done, uploaded when my computer comes back. Um, so yeah, and I'm waffling on yet again right at the end of the video. 
So Gems, on that note, I will say thank you for joining me. Let me know what you think of this and um, let's see what I can produce. That's going to be fun. So bye for now.